Good morning. Uh, this video uh, is based on a product from uh, the mid 80s. Uh, it was called the Clapper. And uh, for it being, we'll call it state of the art in the 1980s, uh, it became a, a pop culture sensation. It just, uh, the commercials were mocked in pop culture. Uh, etc. over the years. I think the products are still being sold. Um, they're probably evolved a little bit. Uh, but uh, I actually went on uh, uh, YouTube and found a commercial from way back then. I won't play it here. Uh, probably copyright issues. But uh, I got a link to that commercial or one of the commercials uh, in the program's description. Uh, but what it amounts to is uh, it's a sound-activated switch. And uh, in the case of how it worked was you clap twice and it would turn something on, clap twice, it turned something off. So clap on, clap off, jingle, the whole nine yards. Very funny for the time. Um, but I've kind of gone through and replicated that here with the Pico. Um I found these sensors on Amazon. Uh, they were relatively inexpensive, five of them for $7.19. And uh, I've played with three of them so far, and they all work, so I'm real happy with that. Uh, but they're very simple to use. Uh, it's got three connections, voltage, ground, and then its output signal that we would, of course, capture back at uh, the Pico. Uh, the one thing you'll notice here uh, on it is a... Uh, potentiometer, a trimmer pot, and that is used to adjust the sensitivity level for uh, the clapping sound. Uh, one thing I would like to caution you about in their description, they're calling it a voice detect uh, voice control switch. That is a stretch of truth if I've ever seen one. I suppose if you shouted at it, loud enough, it would respond to that, um, but it's not going to interpret what you're saying or anything of that nature. So treat it as a sound switch. Wiring it up, we'll show you what we've got here on uh, the Fritzing diagram. Here's our faithful Pico. Uh, we're going to take uh, three volts out of, off of that, run it over to uh, VCC input of the module, we're going to provide ground to the module. And then on our output, we're going to bring that back to pin GP15. And then so we can demonstrate the clap on, clap off, uh, we're going to use uh, pin GP14 as an output uh, through a 220 ohm resistor to a red LED. And then that goes back to ground as well. Uh, and we'll use that as our light that's being turned on and off with the clapper. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the code. Up at the top, I've got some commentary there, um, a link to the YouTube video for the clapper, and a link to uh, Amazon for uh, where to purchase this device. Uh, coming down further, we've got uh, a couple of imports, machine library time. We're going to set up the sound sensor input on pin 15. Notice I'm doing a pull down resistor using the internal pull down resistor so that I have a, a zero volt signal. Unless there's sound, then it'd go positive. Um, and then we're going to create an object for our LED, and that'll be on pin 14 as an output. We'll record the previous time uh, so that we can keep track of the time between uh, these loud claps or clicks or noises or screams, whatever it is. And we're going to set up a range uh, that's an acceptable time. I'm calling it uh, minimum tween time and maximum tween time of 250 milliseconds to uh, uh, 1250 milliseconds or essentially a quarter of a second up to a second and a quarter, uh, giving a, about a one second window there. And uh, we enter our main loop. Um, we're gonna check to see if we heard a sound. If it's experiencing a sound, we're going to record uh, the current time uh, in ticks millisecond. 
And then uh, we will calculate uh, the elapsed time by subtracting current time from the previous time, which constantly gets updated. We'll print that out. We'll make sure that that uh, elapsed time is between the minimum and the maximum time. If it is, we're going to toggle our LED on or off. And then we'll update uh, the previous time variable. Now let's try to give it a drive here and see how it behaves. As you can see, it's picking up my voice here and responding on that. Off and on. And that is your clap on, clap off, the clapper device. Um, it, building something like this, I, I guess it has practical applications depending on what you're trying to do. Um, but unfortunately, the way that product is described and what it is capable of is a little stretch of the imagination and it's misleading to people. Nonetheless, uh, it's all in good fun. Um, it's a useful sensor, and I'm sure it has other applications, and perhaps you guys would like to add some comments to your own down below. Uh, but I think that'll wrap it up for uh, my presentation on the Clapper, and uh, hopefully we'll find some other interesting applications for this device as well. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.